Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's go ahead and get into the Bible. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 1. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, it's talking about death now, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Imagine with me now if somebody offered to uh, put you on a game show. I said, hey, are you willing to uh, win or lose on a game show, uh, you know, in front of everybody? And uh, you can win big or lose big, you know, and, and it's, at first it seems, you know, kind of kind of risky, right? Well, what do you mean lose big? You know, well, well here, let, let me tell you the rules. So they take you to this large obstacle course, okay, where you have to run across all these different, run, climb, you know, this just elaborate obstacle course. And underneath the obstacle course, you're, you're way high up in the ground. Um, and if you fall off, there's, there's water down there and you, and you fall into, you know, cold water and you'd have to swim back, you know, uh, uh, back to the platform and they said uh you know if you can make it through the obstacle course uh, in one try you only get one try if you can make it through the obstacle course uh, then you will win three million dollars and you're like whoa that's kind of a big prize three million dollars really okay um what's the catch though uh, you know what, what happens if i fall off and then they tell you, well, if you fall off, then you win $10 million. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Say that again? Well, if you win, you win $3 million. If you lose, you win $10 million. What? Are you serious? Sign me up, <laughs> right? Where do I, where do I sign? Uh, this is like, you, you, you can't lose. Right, whether I make it through the obstacle course or not, I'm going to win a lot of money. All right, this is this is this is great. It's it's like a, a big prize either way. And let me tell you something. When you sign up to accept Christ as your savior, and especially when you sign up to become a Christian, uh, <clears throat> you cannot lose. Okay, you 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 cannot lose. And this promise here in in. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, again, talking about death, we have a building of God and house not made with hands eternal in the heavens. When you think about all the bad things that can happen to you in this life, okay, the absolute worst thing that most humans think about that can happen to us is death, right? But if you're a believer... That's like the best thing that can happen to you. I mean, when when you go into eternity and, and, and you leave this tabernacle, this body, you're going to a better place. You're, you're going to something so much better and eternal that God has specifically prepared for you. And, and that's, that is such an incredible, wonderful promise in the Bible for believers that once this body is dissolved, this tabernacle is dissolved, We've got something incredible and eternal, never ending, waiting for us over there, over yonder, where the Lord is. I remember a preacher telling me a story, uh, and, and I'm sure you've probably uh, you know, heard this illustration before, uh, maybe from, from another preacher. Or, uh, but, you know, he, he uh, was saying how you know, he's not afraid of death if someone wants to rob him or uh, point a gun at him, uh, you know, that, that he would reply with, well, you can't scare me with heaven, <laughs> you know. Um, and when you look at all of the apostles who were martyred, except John, John survived. They tried to kill him. They boiled him in oil, but, uh, but he survived. But all the other ones were, were murdered and, and martyred for their faith. They all approached death very boldly. And even Paul, knowing he was about to be executed when he was sitting in prison, said, I am now ready to be offered. I finished my course, finished my race. Uh, I, they're, they're not afraid of death. Believers are not afraid of death because if you are a believer in Christ, there is no death. There is only eternal life after this life. Hang on to that promise. 
bring, let that bring comfort and joy, no matter how how hard your life may be at the moment. Whatever it is that you're going through, remember that in the end, we win. No matter what, we win. God wins, and we're on his side. I'm going to stop right there. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.